This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're going to start doing the instant pot recipes. Today we're going to do a traditional Chinese uh, chicken recipe. It's uh, wak jam gai, which is also known as white cut chicken. So just check the description below in my Chinese cooking accessory guide. You'll find different ingredients and items I use in Chinese cooking as well as uh, the wok that I use and this Instant Pot that I use. The traditional way to make white cut chicken, you, you put it in water to boil. But here we're going to steam it in the Instant Pot. So just uh, put about half a dozen pieces of uh, ginger, about thumb size. I'm going to grab some of the uh, green onions put in the center there. This is a quick demonstration of how to use the Instant Pot for high pressure cooking. I have the wire rack. I'm going to put it in the Instant Pot. So the wire rack comes with an Instant Pot. So I rub the whole bunch of chicken. I rub the whole bunch of salt on the chicken, so it should be nice and salty. And so the next step here, I'm just going to add enough water to cover the bottom of the uh, Instant Pot. Three cups of water will just line the bottom there. So. Uh, just barely touch the bottom of the chicken. So I like to work with three cups of water for chicken when you steam it. So next you just close the lid to the left. So cancel the last setting. So we have, we're going to set it for 15 minutes on pressure cook. So you show uh, pressure cook here, high pressure, delay is off and the keep warm button is on. So 15 minutes, 5 minutes per pound of chicken. We've got 3 pound chicken here. So it'll take a few minutes to build the pressure. Then it'll cook for 15 minutes. And then it's going to naturally release the pressure. We'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. And they'll finish with the um, manual release. So that'll take another minute or so. So just push the button here on the end here. So just do it very slowly and then press down. So when the uh, silver button drops, that's when the uh, pressure is finished uh, coming out. There it is. So only took about 30 seconds on top of the 15 minutes. So turn uh, right to open. Oh, nice. Oh, turned out really nice. And then uh, you've got a nice broth here. You can make a nice uh, uh, chicken noodle soup or you can use it for uh, noodles or whatever you like. So the next stage, you just uh, pull the chicken up, put it on a plate, just like that. So just let the chicken cool off for about 15 minutes before you cut it. So the uh, juices will go back into the chicken and then you're going to have a nice tasty chicken for dinner. So the chicken has been cooling off for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to cut it up right now. Cut off the uh, drumstick first. So it actually falls apart. I don't really need to cut it. So then you take off the wing, so the wings already come off. Cut it off at the joint here. Then you just tear off the thigh, it comes right apart. This piece of bone you can actually take off or you can just cut it with the meat. So you can just actually separate it if you want, just go like that. So that comes right apart. So that's uh, part of the carcass. So you want to separate the bone from the breast. So this actually tears right off. The whole breast right here. So I'm just going to cut it. So here's the other half of the chicken. 
So it just comes right off, see? It comes right off. Yeah, it comes right off like that. Hit it at the joint. So this is what the chicken looks like on the platter. So we're just going to stir fry the green onions and the ginger. Going to put about four or five tablespoons of cooking oil. I've got peanut oil here. So I just turn that around a little bit. Put about uh, maybe a half to a teaspoon of salt there. I'm going to put a teaspoon of sesame oil. You can also put maybe a tablespoon of light soy sauce. So I just stir fry for say 30 to 60 seconds. So I'm just going to put the uh, green onions. I got about a cup and a half of sliver green onion. So this is going to add a little color to the centerpiece of your plate of the chicken. So give it a final stir fry. So you can actually put it on top too if you like. But this way people who don't like the ginger green onions, they don't have to eat it. There you have it. White cut chicken, Chinese style, cooked in an Instant Pot with ginger and green onions. Enjoy. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks for your continued support.